Hello everyone, my name is Longbow, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to build the super simple starter house. Let's get started. Starting off with a block palette, every good build needs one, and this is ours today. It's pretty simple. Our foundation is going to be built out of cobblestone and andesite. Those are pretty easy to get. And then our walls, we're going to be using oak wood and strip birch and birch planks. And then moving on to our roof, we're going to be using dark oak for the trim and regular oak for the main body. And then we have a few miscellaneous blocks for things like details and trims and that sort of things. And I'm going to be using spruce planks for the flooring, but that is totally optional. As are all of these blocks, this is totally subjective and this is just what I have picked for this particular build and you can change this out for any block you would like. Turn things off with our foundation, we're going to place a piece of andesite right there, skip three blocks, place another piece, skip three blocks, place another piece. Turn the corner and repeat this pattern another three times. And we should end up with three gaps of three on this side and two gaps of three on this side. And you want to just continue this pattern around the corner again and one more time. And then you should end up with a box like this. And then we're going to come in here with our cobblestone and one block in behind the andesite. We're just going to create a solid outline all the way around. And coming back to the front, we're going to place a piece of andesite, skip a block, another piece of andesite, skip three blocks, another piece of andesite, skip one block, and another piece of andesite. Turn the corner and skip five blocks, and then place another piece of andesite. So it should line up with that one. And then we're going to repeat the pattern we had on the front, skipping a piece of andesite, and then place another piece, skip three, place another piece, and then we're linked up with this one. And then just like before, we're going to come back in and place cobblestone in between all of our andesite. Now, this is optional, but if you want, you can bust these ones out and just leave it open like this. All right, moving on to the next layer, we're going to take our andesite and we're just going to wrap this all the way around on top of the andesite we placed before. As for this section, we're just going to put in some andesite right here and bring that out like that. And we're actually going to grab some andesite slabs and just wrap these around here to form a bit of a front porch. Next, we're going to wrap another layer of cobblestone all the way around here, making sure to leave this gap. And that takes care of our foundation, so we're going to move on to the walls next. Going back to our first corner, we're going to place five oak logs, just like that. And we're going to do this on all the corners, In including this lower section, bring these up five blocks as well. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to come to the sides and we're going to bring some oak logs all the way across. And we're going to remember to do this lower section as well and just tuck this in underneath this beam up here. Next, come to this far side and we're going to just place four oak logs in the middle here. Just like that. And coming down to this lower section where we pl originally placed our andesite, we want to run four logs coming up from those. Remembering to do the back side as well, bring these up four blocks. And then where the foundation raises up a block, we're going to place three oak logs. Just like that. Next, on top of all of the cobblestone, we're going to run a layer of birch planks, including this lower section. Leave a space right here for our door and then connect it up like that. Next, we're going to be using the stripped birch logs and we're going to run these up to match the height of all of our oak and just fill all of your walls in with this. And it should end up looking something like this. Next thing is to start our roof. We're going to come back to our original corner and we're going to place a temporary block right there and then place a piece of dark oak planks onto that. And then on the bottom side here, we're going to place a dark oak slab. Get rid of our temporary block. And then we're going to do another slab on top of there. Then a staircase, upside down staircase, full block, staircase, upside down staircase, another full block, and another staircase. And now that we've reached the center of the building, we're going to place an upside down staircase like that. Then it's just a matter of repeating that on all of your gable ends. So again, temporary block, full block, slab, upper slab, staircase, upside down staircase, full block, staircase, upside down staircase, full block, staircase. It should look like that. And then up on the peak, we're going to place a full block. On the outside of that, we're going to place an upside down staircase and then run slabs on both of those sticking out a block. And then you just want to repeat that on the other gable end. And then this one is basically the same, just a little smaller. So we'll do our temporary block, a full block, slab, upper slab, staircase, upside down staircase, full block, staircase. And then once we reach the center, then we'll do an upside down staircase there, a full block on top of that, another staircase on the outside, and then slabs on top of that, reaching out an extra block. 
next we need to connect our ridge lines. So we're going to bring out another two blocks right here. Do the same over on this side. And then connect these up with half slabs. Do the same thing over here. Bring that out two blocks. And then we're going to bring out some slabs and kind of guess. Uh, should be about right here. And there you have it. It's actually starting to look like a house now. So next what we need to do is actually fill our roofs in. So we're going to come in and just copy the same pattern using Oakwood instead. And it should look something like that. Pretty simple. Now this area might look a little complicated because we have the two roofs coming into each other and they don't quite line up, but I'm going to walk you right through it and make it nice and simple for you. We're just going to copy the pattern that we have here and bring this all up, stopping it at this oak log. And now that we've reached this height, we're going to come back over here and we're going to bring our half slabs across here and butt those into the stairs and then bring our full blocks and just like that. See? It was simple. And then we'll finish this roof off, bringing this across and just out one more block and then bring our stairs and bring these out and stop them right there. We can then bring these stairs across like this and then we'll bring our full blocks back over here and they should link up just like that with those stairs and then these will run all the way through. Now we'll just do the same thing on this side. Next, we need to finish off these gables. So we're going to come over here, place a oak log right there, another one there, two right here, and another two at the peak. And we'll do another two, one more, and one more. And then it's just a matter of filling in the rest of our birch stripped blocks. And then it's just a matter of repeating it on the back. And the smaller one as well, we're just going to place a block here, a block here, two blocks right there, a block right there, and a block right there and then fill in the gable. There we go, that's looking pretty good. And the next what we're going to do in the gables is we're going to place a full block there, double slab, full block, double slab, and then work that same pattern back down. And we're going to repeat that pattern on all of our gables. Next, I want to add a bit of a bay window. So we're going to break out a two by three block area right here. We're going to place a stair right there and then corner steps on either side of it. And then underneath, we're going to place an upside down stair and the quarter steps on the other side of that. And then we want to place glass blocks in the center there. And then against our birch, we're going to place panes and then bring that out to connect up with the glass and repeat that on the other side. And there, we got a cute little bay window. We can kind of break in our windows now. Just I'm just going to put these in the center of the build. This back side, I want to actually put in two right there. And we're going to do a little something right here in a minute. Now that we have all of our windows punched out, we can fill those in with glass. And you can choose any color that you like. The next part, I want to add in a bit of a fireplace. So we're going to come to this back corner and we're going to punch out these two blocks right here, going all the way up, down and exposing our cobblestone. And we're going to punch out these ones as well and just fill this area in with cobblestone. And then coming up on the roof above that, we're going to come in three blocks. We're going to break this one here, this one here, and break this step right here. And that should expose your cobblestone underneath, and we're going to raise this up all the way until we're about a block above our ridge line right here. Next, we're going to place some campfires on top of the cobblestone, and then some trapdoors surrounding those. And then some decorated pots right on top of that, and it looks like a cool little chimney effect. And it might look a little nicer if you use brick instead of cobblestone, but that is totally up to you. And a quick tip, if you want less light shining through the trapdoors, you can replace the campfires with soul campfires as they produce less light. Next, I want to add a little bit of trim to the roof. So we're going to come over here. We're going to place a trapdoor and then a slab and then a trapdoor and a slab and just continue this all the way along. On this short little one, we're just going to put a slab there and a trapdoor there. And you just want to continue this around the whole building. Next, we're going to take our dark oak stairs and we're going to put one right there above the door. Corner step, corner step, and then take some spruce fence and run them right alongside here. Then continue with the fences. We're just going to run these all along the undersides of our oak beams. Oh, this should be oak right there. Yep, that looks good. Then we want to run this in the corners on our gable walls as well. And then the undersides of the beams. We're actually going to break this slab and place our fences in there instead. And over on this side, we're going to go ahead and place two andesite slabs right there, a full block and two andesite slabs right like that. And then come back in with our spruce fences and just run them up the corners. And all that's left is to go ahead and add some spruce trap doors, kind of act as shutters. And the little tip that you can do is go ahead and place those like that so they're right in front of the window. And on the back side of them, place some spruce signs 
and they, uh, they kind of look even more like shutters. And then we can't forget to place in our front door. I've decided to use an oak front door to kind of contrast with the roof a little bit. We're basically just adding in a bunch of little details now. Things like a path in front of the door. We can build some planter boxes using leaves and oak trap doors. And if you want to add just a little bit more detail, you come up here, place a fence, two chains, and a lantern. You can do that over here on this one as well. But there we go. That's the exterior all done. And now that the exterior is all done, let's go over the interior. Walking through the front door, we've got a simple spruce floor, just like a drop off point, I guess. I did some oak beams and spruce slabs for the ceiling. But now it's kind of like a dump chest. Everyone needs a dump chest. That's what that's for. Got some uh, ferns and some barrels and things hanging on the walls, just like a little entrance room. And then we walk up a block here and there wasn't really room to put a bedroom per se. So I've used beds as the benches for the table. Got a little bit more storage, got a big kitchen right here with lots of storage using the barrels. We've got a smoker and a fun flower, some more storage. And then we have a blast furnace in the floor here and two more furnaces back here. And if you wanted to, I suppose you could break this chest and run a ladder up here. And you probably would have enough room to put a bedroom up here if you wanted or more storage. But something I did not include in the tutorial is if you put a slab on top of all your stairs on the edge of your roof, it gives it a bit more of a fantasy feel. But that is it, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye.